My daughter wants a clock for her bar in her new house. So that's today's project. And she told me the style. She told me the style she wants and I've got exactly the material for it, I think. So I'm gonna crack on with that job today. thickness of my clock so far and then I don't want so what I want is an inset like that and this is all completely arbitrary 
I might actually make it half the thickness, let's say. So, 30 mils. What was I saying, 300 before? It's 30. So halfway is 15. So, I want to notch out that bit gets notched out. Just making this up as I go along. Yeah, so just to shave off the back of that there. Why not make it complicated? This is where it gets tricky. Perfect. I'm happy with that. That's one angle. Then I've got to do that one and that one. And actually, I'll use the same template, keep the angle the same. Although that one should probably need to be shallower. But I'll run it through, see what happens. Let's see how close I got. the way the clock's going it's quite close now I'm going to start fiddling with a bit of 
uh, sanding and stuff. I hope I don't stuff it up. But I'm, I'm pleased with it so far. What I'm going to do this morning is scull up a bit of roundness into that base part there so that it hugs the clock itself nice and tight. Give the glue some purchase. See, it's almost spot on. So then I just have to chisel out the shoulder. But the curve is actually just about perfect. Cool. So let's test if I can do the chiseling. Actually, this could work. This could work well. So surprised how well that fits. It is almost, almost perfect. circle smaller by bringing them in closer to the face so I've got a fair bit to play with then for uh, fixing up those angles so I might just run them all through at 15 degrees just to be sure thing to fill holes with fog isn't it yes it is 
And I love the smell of this stuff. I think I can call this one done.